today we are going to be fitting the actual shifter uh, from the Fiesta Cup cars to the Fiesta today. Quite excited to see how this goes. Um, so we're just going to be going into work, grabbing some tools and probably just hiding in the corner and doing it there. As it's more grief for me to actually bring all the tools home and potentially forget something. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're at work. Tools are here. Um, let's get going, I suppose. So we're just going to um, just take the shifter off just quickly, like the gear knob. And then this is just fucking all trashed. And the plug. Any plugs for the orcs and the cigarette lighter, and then what we're going to need to do is take this console out. So let's just unclip the handbrake console if we can from here. It usually likes to pop out, but um, yeah, I'll just sort of put this on a little time lapse and we will remove these trims as well because they're only held in by a little pop off which is just literally up there where my finger is either side okay so both panels are off now as you can see it exposes the bolt here and usually there is a clip in here but my car doesn't have it for some reason same with the other side Okay, so where the cables go, there are two nuts, as you can see, one there, and then one there, so I'm just going to get them off of a ratchet spanner, and the cables will be free. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got it off the studs, you had to lever, lever it up a bit, a bit of a pain, but now we're going to go underneath the car and disconnect it from the gearbox. Okay, so we're just going to unclip this plastic cover. Ok, 
tape so you can now see the gig cables. So just unclip them. get these off and I'll show you what's next so both cables are off now um, as you can see one here and then the other one's down there just got to try and pull them through the car now so I can go inside and just quickly pull and see what happens hopefully they root themselves through which would be nice Be a case of just trying to get these through now obviously it's got caught on something so i'm just going to keep going in and out of the car to try and uh free this bad boy up and hopefully get them through That's the cables out. Thank God for that. You guys are going to struggle a bit more because obviously I've got no heat shields on this car so I could just room straight through. Um, you'll have to probably drop the exhaust down take the heat shields off. Well, you will. And yeah, that's why I've got this crappy old reflective tape here that seems to have done its job. So I think uh, I'll probably be putting a bit more on the new cables just to give them a bit of protection before I get some money together and buy some new heat shields from Ford and do it properly. So, what I'm to do now, get the shifter out of the way, get a new one in place and try and route these cables through.
I said in probably the previous clip, this shift has been on for quite a while now. Um, but I just want to show you guys how it works. And yeah, just so you get a sort of view on how sort of comfy it looks. Like your sort of arm position's about here, just about rests on the corner of the seat. So yeah, I quite like it. So I've just got to make a quick trip. So we'll um, show you what it's like. As you can see, the throw is very, very short. Never 
breaking by the time you get home. Like it was on the old set because it was like that all the time on the armrest. Okay, so the last time um, we was recording, we was trying to get this stupid bloody shifter to fit, and we ended up getting it to fit, and we just ran into issue upon issue upon issue. And basically, um, what happened is the bracket on the gearbox for the cables the washers were too small so we couldn't actually secure the cables to the gearbox so i had to get some penny washers um bore them out slightly just so they'd fit the bolts on the shifters and and basically um make them fit once we had done that we um, obviously had to I'll just show you down there let's move the cables out of the way we had to basically trim all like the bottom as you can see from like the Addy dust here where we haven't cleaned it all the bottom out here just so the airbag module will fit we just did like a simple temporary just cut out so we can get the handbrake down because that was another issue but I'm going to change this for a hydro unit um, just so it's out of the way and then we can just cut a nice square out and then that'll be it or even just weld a plate back in here and nobody would ever know so we thought once we had got that done we thought great it's all sorted now no oh. one of the gear cables didn't fit on the um mound tune arm so you see how you've got the one cable that clicks on at the gearbox like the little arm that goes in and then you've got the other arm that pivots like that on the gearbox while the fitting on that was too small um for the actual shifter or the cables for the shifter even so as you know these shifter arms are made for the mark 6 and mark 7 so they do come with different size like ball fittings so i had to ring up mount tune get them to send me one through of the larger diameter um, but we really wanted to drive the car so we did what we could to make it work so I'll just quickly show you this is just the old mount tune box that it came in but what we had done <coughs> is this was the old fitting we covered it in fucking electrical tape I know it sounds like an absolute bodge and then if I just fit this together quickly we used an old rose joint I 
fuck's sake. Bear with me. Everything's still want to just fuck me in the arse at the minute. Right. So we use an old rose joint like this. So if I just take all this off. Oh, this is so fucking annoying! Um, right, if I just show you like this, this will be easier. Okay. So we've got obviously the old fitting. We covered it in tape, and just to take up the slack, we used a rose joint that we found, drilled it and tapped it to the correct thread, placed a rose joint over it, then placed a copper washer, and then like a snap clip, just to keep it in place. And I mean, you lot can say what you want, but this lasted me three weeks and it would still last me if i hadn't removed it from the car so it's one of them you got to do what you got to do to get yourself out of shit and i definitely was not putting a standard shifter back in no way on earth so yeah that's what we did to get it to work and then what i'll do now is just open a bonnet and show you um i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this bit just to take it out of jail anyway just in case something happens and I run into a bit of scenario, so I've got it. Just put the other stuff back in the box. But yeah, I think the bit from Mountain cost me about 20 quid. Sounds a lot, but it's one of them. you got to do what you got to do to make stuff work. Um, so let's go outside the car now. And show you under the bonnet. can't really see too well but if I just lock you down there you should see the two cables um, obviously the one on the arm with the new fitting and obviously the washers to make the cables fit onto the actual um, bracket on the gearbox But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I would like to get the um, cover back on the gearbox just to protect the gear linkage a bit better. Um, but yeah, as you can see, if I take it right down, it's quite a tight squeeze. But you should be able to see the other cable as well. And then what we'll do now show you inside the car too mind all this shit it's not like it's still a work in progress and all the crap that's over there um, on late shift you tend to snack hence all the bags in there but look how good it looks guys it was a real struggle getting it in as one so we ended up unbolting it from the tower and then doing it like that because we ended up just trying to ram it in under the dash and on the cut cars they have a bit of a uh, like, I can't explain it, but they, the dashes come up a lot higher than what a road car would, so it's another sort of thing, but what I'm going to be looking to do next is just making like a little little uh, centre console, just a nice one, just to sort of tuck all this crap away and make it look a bit more presentable instead of like Skeletor. Um, 
whether we film it or not I don't know because it will be a very trial and error video but um, we can definitely show the finished product because I need to do an update on this car as well because I don't know if you guys have noticed there's probably a few things that are a bit different on the car that you might have seen in the videos but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys appreciate this genuine Ford Motorsport item being reused um, on a on one of the actual road cars instead of just one of the rare cup cars that you can't get um, I must say definitely worth the money Look, as you can see look how short look how short the throw is and even the side to side is nothing I think it's fantastic Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content. Um, again, I will be explaining what's going on. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I've just been mega, mega busy, but it will all make sense. For now, guys, take care, and I'll catch you later.